Robbie comes up. Everybody moves a little. Wow, hard hit for Ryan Newman. And for Dale Jr. Yeah, there's no safer barrier down that back straightaway. Starts right there where Jr. just hit. So pretty tough lick. And a big thank you to all of our NASCAR on Fox cameramen and replay technicians. They've had a busy day today with 16 caution flags. Now David Reagan. Not happy about the call. But pretty cut and dry Daryl. No yeah it, it's it's not a, it's not even an interpretation. You'll be all right. That's just so sad for that kid. But you're going to blend back out wherever you come out. Just don't speed off here road do not. And Trevor Bain becomes the leader of the Daytona 500 possibly could become the youngest driver ever to win it and only the second driver to ever win in his second Sprint Cup Series start something Jamie McMurray did at Charlotte. Well a lot of these guys up here have never won the Daytona 500 at 14 he's got the his best friend right now is that five car Dick Bergren. Trevor Bain is being told to save fuel. They are on the edge with fuel. I've talked to Mike Smith, the gas man, who has been with the Wood Brothers for 21 years. He said he got all the fuel in the car, but it may not be enough to get Trevor Bain to the checkered flag. You know, when we were talking earlier, the last time they pitted, yeah. could they make it the rest of the way? We said, you know, yeah, they can. There was a caution. You said, oh, they're plenty safe now, but we're going into five laps here now, six laps. This will be our second attempt to go green, then white, then checker. Got to make it around and take the white flag. Once the white flag waves, if anything happens, it's a race. Tell you what, that's a lot of experience up there around Trevor Bain right now. Well, there's two guys right there on that outside line. I know Mark Martin. I don't know how many more Daytona 500 opportunities he's got left. But Tony Stewart's never won the 500. Mark's never won the 500. Of course, we know Trevor Bain. He could win his first 500 in his first 500 attempt. Stars up. Ready. Tony Stewart's won Ready. the poll for the Indy 500. He's Green won the flag. IRL Green championship flag. twice, the Sprint Cup championship. He's Still won there. everything at Daytona. 47 with you. Still with you. Still with you. Still with you. Bottom of And coming through the middle, Kurt Busch. Now down to the inside. Bobby Labonte in that 47 gave Trevor Bain a heck of a push. Now all they can do is try to hug the bottom of the racetrack and protect. I like what I'm, I tell you that 22 though is coming in a, with a head of steam and Juan Pablo right on him. Looks like Tony and Mark might have a, I don't know if they got enough time to get back up there or not. I don't think they do. Dale Jr. checked and released at the infield care center. They'll face the white flag when they come around to decide the 53rd Daytona 500. Rookie Trevor Bain in his second Sprint Cup start will lead them to the white, white flag, flag with Bobby Labonte. Here comes Kurt Busch and Juan Montoya. Carl Edwards in fifth. And we know Kurt Busch and Montoya is going to make a move. DW, when will they make it? I don't think they're going to make it till turn four. I mean, we keep hearing about I'm a setting duck when I'm leading this thing. So I guess that makes the 21 a setting duck right now. But We'll see here that 22 knows how to win from that position. That's where he won the butt shootout from. Edwards and Gilliland down to the inside trying to. Where did that 34 come from? Trying to Gilliland. spoil the party. Oh and my God! Spoiled the party for Kurt Busch and Montoya, and here they come through turn four. Gilliland, they, former pole sitter of the 500. Edwards has room underneath. Now he pushes Trevor Bain. It's over. Cinderella. Trevor Bain is going to win the Daytona 500. Happy birthday, Trevor Bain, 20 years old. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what? That was awesome. That was awesome, Trevor. You are the man, buddy. You are the man. Everybody coming inside, congratulating you here. Oh, my God. Saw Leonard Wood down on pit road where he stood in 76 when Pearson won it. There's Leonard, who with Glenn and Delano, they're the Wood Brothers. Oh my goodness. First win in 10 years for what is now a part time team out of Stewart, Virginia, and Concord, North Carolina. The Wood Brothers return to victory lane at Daytona.
with 20-year-old Trevor Bain. That is a life-changing experience right there, buddy, even at 20 years old. And what a great, what a great representative for our sport. 20-year-old kid, well-spoken. Donnie Wingo. I love Donnie Wingo. He's one of those old school right guys. Here, bud. This is all you right here. This is all you. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this is all you. Do, you. do yourself. Do your thing right here. I mean, you know, if you want to go out in the grass, you can do that too. He said, I think this is how you do it. <laughs> and he stops for the flag. That's start finish. No. Nope. Remember, he got tied up in a crash on Thursday. They had to do a lot of work to keep this car in the 500 and not go to a backup. The red, the white, the gold numbers look just like the Mercury that Pearson drove into victory lane after finishing the race in the grass in 1976 after a collision with Richard Petty in turn four. Look at this last celebration. I, it, I, this is unbelievable. This is fairy tale stuff. This but is like once upon a time. The glass slipper fit. It did, man, it did. Watch the spoiler, watch the spoiler. Watch the spoiler. Yeah, right. <laughs> Can you believe it? It is the fifth Daytona 500 win and the 98th career win for the Wood Brothers as Trevor Bain becomes the second youngest race winner in Sprint Cup Series history. <laughs> now they'll point him to victory lane. Oh, by the way, Carl Edwards finished second, David Gilliland third, Bobby Labonte fourth, and Kurt Busch routed out the top five. Trevor Bain becomes the 35th different driver to win the Daytona 500. Promotional considerations provided by Daytona 500 winner Trevor Bain at age 20 in his second race ever at the cup level and he'll find his way to victory lane as we welcome you live on Fox to the sprint post race show from the Daytona 500 his hero Jeff Gordon and on a record setting day at the Daytona 500 Trevor the hero let's go down live to victory lane. of this moment. But what happens when you're a kid yourself, just 20 year old, years old yesterday? Travis, I'm going to say some words to you. You're a Daytona 500 winner. Has it sunk in? No. I keep thinking I'm dreaming. I really do. I mean, I, man, we, we said a prayer before, and, you know, we pray a lot, and we expect a lot of things, but uh, this just shows how powerful God is. And, man, I'm so thankful for the job that these guys did on this race car because it's unbelievable. I mean, this thing is our first 500. Are you kidding me? To win our first one, our second ever cup race. I mean, this is just incredible. I mean, I, I can't think the guys have worked with me all day enough. I mean, um, you know, there were 10, 15 different drivers that pushed us. Carl helped us there to get across the line. I don't know what happened with David there at that one point, but wow, this is unbelievable. I mean, these guys, Ford, Ford Motorcraft, uh, the Wood Brothers. How cool is it to see the Wood Brothers back there in victory lane? We got Leonard over here. He is the man. 
And, uh, you know, I just, it's unbelievable. And, you know, thanks to Sprint and everybody for the series. Thanks to the fans that are out here. I mean, I've never been to a racetrack with this many people here. And to win on this kind of platform is just incredible. Trevor, we heard you say, I don't even know where to go. When you pulled in, we all had to tell you, no, wait, stay in the car. And then we had to tell you to put it in gear so you didn't roll right out. You know what? I, I, it's crazy to get my first cup win before a nationwide win. But uh, I didn't know how to get to victory lane. But we'll find our way back, hopefully, because this is, uh, man, I'm telling you what, this is incredible. I believe the King is here as well to congratulate you, as is the Wood Brothers. An absolutely emotional win. Most 20-year-olds are trying to figure out which college class to go to. Trevor Bain just added his name to the most elite list in motorsports history. Steve? Well, Krista, with Dale Earnhardt Jr., I just said, hey, you had a fast race car. He said, what about the driver? All right, we'll give the driver some credit. I know it's not the finish that you wanted, but uh, are you encouraged by how well you ran? Uh, I, you know, I figured we'd run good. I was real happy how fast we got up through there at the start of the race. I want to congratulate the Wood Brothers and uh, the whole team there. Uh, they did an awesome job. Had a good car all weekend. That boy drove his heart out, and uh, I'm proud of them. But uh, we run, we run good, and had you know, had as much fun as we could and un under circumstances. There, <laughs> it's kind of crazy at the end. It, it's, every start where I wrecked, I mean, it was, it was some funny stuff on the bottom down there. But um, we just got hit in the quarter panel trying to get by a wreck and. Um, we may have caused a few today. I don't know. It was wild, but uh, I want to thank uh, all my guys on my team. Worked hard. Um, Hendrick Engines and our uh, the body man and everybody worked real hard to get us down here and, and make us run as good as we did. And just a uh, shame we couldn't get a good finish for them. We'll see you at Phoenix, Jr. Matt Yoakum. Steve Carl Edwards listened in on Trevor Bain's <laughs> celebration and excitement in victory lane. You remember your first win. You almost got your first 500 win today. What happened on that last line? <laughs> I need to see a replay. <laughs> but uh, I just have to say thank you to Aflac. Thank you to Scott's Ford. That's uh, Ford's 600th win. And Trevor Bain, you guys, is a good guy. He is a cool guy. And um, it, it's not worth it listening to him how excited he is, but it sure, it sure is neat to, to hear him how excited he is. And the fans are, are great here. I need to see a replay. I thought that maybe Gilliland and I had enough steam that we could go to the outside of Trevor and get him, but I didn't. Trevor's car was fast, and uh, that's a wild Daytona 500, guys. Great way to start the year for Carl Edwards, second here in Daytona. Dick? David Reagan almost won the Daytona 500. Tell us about the heartbreak. It'll take us a long time to get over this one, Dick. Um, you know, first of all, thank you to UPS and, and everyone uh, for our support for the 2011 season. But, you know, we, we fired in the box, and, and I guess NASCAR just, um, in their judgment, uh, moved down to the bottom lane too early. Uh, I felt like that I hadn't committed the whole way, as I see it on the replay here. Um, you know, it's pretty clear I'm down there, but my left side tires aren't on the yellow line. so. I need to go over and have a talk with uh, Mike Elton or some of the guys if they can explain to me what I did wrong. It'll be a hard lesson to learn, but um, you know, thanks to Trevor, he uh, he was my pushing buddy all day. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have been up there. But our UPS team's strong, and uh, looks like the four teams are back on top. David Reagan came so close, Mike. That he did, but to see Glenn and Leonard Wood in victory lane, where they last stood in 1976. Trevor Bain brings them across to become the seventh driver to score his first Sprint Cup win in the biggest race of the season, the Daytona 500. What a day. All the bump drafting and all the teaming and two-timing and tangoing. And it all comes down to a fellow who didn't have any bad habits to unlearn. I want to, uh, I want to show you... I want to show you my bio sheet on Trevor Bain. <laughs> <laughs> it's blank, but not after today. Uh, I think Jeff Gordon, Jeff Gordon recognized something in his kid on Thursday, and right. he worked with him. And when Jeff Gordon says, you're good enough to run with me, you're also good enough to win the, uh, win the Daytona 500. The Wood Brothers, who uh, doesn't love yeah, the Wood Brothers, right. Larry? And, yeah, and they're in victory circle. You, you won't hear anybody deny, not even Carl Edwards that finished second, the Wood Brothers or Trevor Bain winning this race. This just goes to show you there's so many young kids out there that, that grow up through racing. They just dream of going to Daytona. And now Trevor Bain, it'll be with him the rest of his life. He's a Daytona 500 winner. A wonderful day for he and the Wood Brothers. A great finish for David Gilliland. Rookie Stephen Wallace finishes on the lead lap. Wow. And David Pearson, who Trevor Bain met for the first time uh, in our studio last evening on Speed, Darrell. David going into the Hall of Fame. That was the Wood Brothers' last Daytona 500 win. You put all that together. 
What a day. Yeah, you look at that car and it's flawless. It doesn't have a scratch on it.